All right, guys. Here's a project I've been working on. Um, I was working on the CNC machine. As you can see, I've got most of the sound enclosure built, and I'm still working on these uh, screw uh, brackets for the screws and the stepper motors. Um, been having some problems because I I broke my tap, so I gotta go out and buy a new tap. And um, it's been uh, been going good though. Uh, I was able to shim this bracket, and uh, with everything put together, I was I was within. Well, my X or my Z carriage goes up and down by about 20 inches, and in that 20 inches, I only had a. Uh, it was is less than one millimeter of drift in the whole 20 inches of travel so less than one millimeter it was it was more than a half a millimeter and less than one millimeter so uh, I thought that was good enough for now at least because uh, it was it was kind of a pain to find the right shims and stuff I ended up using a, a copper clad for circuit boards and I found some that was was uh just right but yeah it's been a problem finding shims and stuff at just the right size and i'm still working on these screws and the and the stepper motor brackets uh the one for the z the one for the z axis is all finished um this one's close and i'm just starting on that one and uh so because i broke my uh tap and i couldn't go no further on that i've been working on this for a while this is uh it's a wideband O2 sensor, and um, I don't know if you guys all watched all of my videos, but in one of the videos I explained that I'm going to be making a fuel injection system on my big block truck, and uh, I'm going to go to fuel injection, but I'm going to do everything from scratch, all the electronic control from scratch. So this is my uh, my beginning evaluation board for running these oxygen wideband oxygen sensor and to run the oxygen sensor the wideband you have to have this which is a Bosch uh, integrated circuit made by Bosch a special integrated circuit and um, there wasn't a whole lot of information on these uh, uh, it took a lot of searching to find what I needed to get by and I'm still not positive. I mean, it was like a, a suggestion circuit to use. So uh, I just did it like they did it, and I'm going to try it out, you know. And you see those capacitors, the orange capacitors. <laughs> I didn't have that size of capacitor in a in an SMD. Everything else is uh, 805 SMD capacitors and resistors. And I made the circuit board from scratch. I chemically etched it like I've shown before. And, and um, I've got a little I2C screen just to display things. I'm using Arduino because, uh, I mean, the, the refresh rate on this chip is not very fast anyway. So having a faster chip wouldn't help anything. Um, this is kind of just my evaluation board to see everything's going to work right. You know, if it, if it all works right, I'll make a more permanent style board. But I mean, this one's got these screw terminals, and uh, so I got a step down converter to step down the 12 volts from the or up to 14 volts from the the car battery or truck battery, and then uh, this uh, this MOSFET is going to be PWM pulse width modulated and that runs the heater inside of here and that's got all be done correctly so I'm going to have some some time to put into uh, writing the code but luckily there's some there is a little bit of example of codes and uh, I'm going to have to figure this uh, I'm going to have to figure this chip out and once I get this chip figured out I might like try to make a few uh, oxygen sensor gauges you know to sell on eBay or something 
But uh, yeah, that's that's the, the very start of my uh, fuel injection from scratch project. Which, if you see my other videos, I've got all kinds of parts for it. I've just who knows when I'll get to it. But this is the very first thing I need to do. I want to see how how out of tune the carburetor is on my. You know, I got that 500 horsepower big block truck. And I got a 800 CFM Quadrajet, and I I struggled and struggled and struggled to try to get that Quadrajet tuned in, and it just wasn't happening. That, that Quadrajet does it just can't handle that big of a cam, and uh, you know because the Quadrajet's all vacuum operated, you know, and you got a big huge cam like like I got the I've got the Comp Mother Thumper. And uh, it's just, it just doesn't make enough vacuum to run that carburetor properly. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be my first try. I'm not sure when I'll get, I'll probably get around to it this weekend. As long as I can get the code written here in the next couple days. So, uh, yeah, it's just something neat I'm messing with. So, alright, later.